So I have a huge reveal in today's video and uh, I'm so, so, so excited to show you what I have been hinting at for well over a month. I literally cannot contain my excitement. <laughs> so the reason why we're actually in my packing room right now is not to package orders or anything. It's because I couldn't start the video in my main studio room because this is where the reveal is taking place. So I'm in the doorway now and it's a little echoey in here, but you'll find out why in a second. <laughs> so this studio room looks way, way different than it did before. <sighs> I'm so happy. I'm going to insert some clips from my Instagram stories of when I took everything out of this room so you can get a last peek at how uh, crowded it was in here. Say goodbye to the trusty old desk that has actually been falling apart for years. Like, whoops. Well, okay, that's what happens all the time is like chunks just fall off of it because it's like so old and I just paint over it every time a chunk breaks off. But anyway, it's done. We're getting rid of it. Gonna have some big changes happen in this room soon. And it's also, it's just like so weird because there's usually lights and tripods and stuff hanging all above me. I usually actually feel pretty claustrophobic in this room. Bye bye desk. Welcome to the new version of my studio. I'm so, so, so excited about this. So you can see here, I have a brand new desk and I am so excited because my old desk was this giant L shape and I felt so claustrophobic in here. And uh, let me just show it to you up close, okay? So before I show you a little desk tour up close and what has changed in my studio, I just wanna thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. So FlexiSpot actually has a lot of like height adjustable desks and they sent me this one and I'm just so beyond thrilled. <laughs> they worked with me for a few weeks to figure out like what desk would best suit my needs. So shout out to Carl, because Carl at FlexiSpot, you are amazing. <laughs> so the desk model that I have from FlexiSpot is the EC3W, and it has a bamboo desktop. This is real bamboo too, it's pretty solid. <laughs> now there's a really cool thing about this desk that I cannot wait to show you, so here we go, here we go. This is the reason why I got it. So this thing is height adjustable. There's this little panel here and you can press like the up button to make it go up. And then there's this down button here that you can lower it. And this here actually has like a programmable panel. So it like remembers the height that I was at earlier. So I'm gonna press this number one here and it's gonna go up to my standing height. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Isn't that so cool? So when I actually put together my other studio, I have like cabinets all throughout the room and I stand to package my orders. And I realized like, oh, I love standing to like work. I can literally edit my videos while I'm standing. Isn't that wild? Mira from the future here. I just wanted to say one more thing about the desk. They are running Black Friday deals right now with some pretty nice discounts. So if this interests you, I will link those down below. Anyway, a lot of us are working from home this year and if you, if you want options to stay moving during your work day, maybe get that little extra bit of motivation. I know this has helped me tremendously and you're gonna see this desk a lot on my channel now that I'm allowed to show it to you. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to link the desk that I have below at flexispot.com. Once again, I have the EC3W model with a bamboo desktop. And if that style doesn't suit your fancy, all the desks on the site are customizable. So for instance, if you, if you want a black desk frame and a white desktop, you can totally do that too. So yeah. 
I am so happy with my desk and thank you again FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. All right, I will give you a little tour of my desk station because this is what it looks like when I'm not filming videos and I'm doing like behind the scenes work. Okay, so here's my planner. This is essential for my workflow. I always have to keep track of like art projects, shop launches, brand deals, all sorts of things. So that is nice. Here is my ELO sketchbook. I like to have my sketchbook pretty much always at my desk. Here is my MacBook Pro. This is where I edit my videos, take care of shop stuff, all that stuff. I also use a lacy hard drive to uh, keep all my video footage on. And here's just some simple writing utensils. My iPad, I either watch Netflix or I use like Procreate. Here's a fake plant. <laughs> This here is like my idea notebook or just like keeping track of shop launch stuff. Like I just did a shop launch and that was all the stuff that I needed to post. And then here is my bag of like essential sketchbook utensils. So since I always have my sketchbook on my desk to or around it, I like to keep that bag nearby. I really like this desk just because it's so deep and fits so much stuff and I don't feel crowded at all. It's just nice and minimal. So you might notice that my floor situation is a little weird right now. I just have this thin rug over here and that's leaving my studio. <laughs> so I'm actually waiting on a giant rug to come and it will pretty much fill this entire room and it looks just like the rug in my other studio. It looks just like this rug, almost identical. So that'll be nice. Okay, I think it's time to make some art on our new desk. There's gonna be a lot of things happening in this video, so feel free to stick around and hang out. Ah, a nice cozy desk with a candle. Getting all set up to draw. Here's some colored pencils and a gray toned sketchbook. Now, when I was organizing this room and taking old furniture out to make room for the new, I came across this gray tone sketchbook. And I'll tell you a little bit of background of 2012 Miranda. So back in 2012, I was actually really, really obsessed with these tan tone and gray tone sketchbooks. And in I believe it was 2013, I went backpacking through Europe and I remember taking my tan tone sketchbook with me and it was just the coolest thing at the time. I had like five Prismacolor markers to my name that I got from the Clarence section, my sketchbook and like a couple colored pencils and I made so much art in that thing. And uh, I'm pretty sure I lost it, but anyway, Here's my gray one, and I think it's also one that I bought way back in 2012 or 13, but I thought it would be fun to just do a lighthearted portrait. And to make that lighthearted and fun, I added these huge sunglasses that kind of remind me of the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. Let me know if they remind you of that too or I don't know if they remind you of something different, but I enjoyed making them. Now, something that I really wanted to focus on with this piece was letting that gray paper shine through. So I'm doing some light shading with black and white on the skin, but most of the skin is actually just going to be this gray paper. And I think it just, oh, I just love that effect with gray and tan tone. I mean, any color paper, so fun. I used to do this with pink paper back in high school. Yeah, so the only really colors that I'm incorporating are what you see in her sunglasses and you'll see them pop out a little more later, but yeah, this, this drawing just made me so happy. The person also, like the face at this point reminds me of Shay Mitchell, but it's not Shay Mitchell. <laughs> My reference photo came from Pexels, which is a royalty-free photo site. Um, 
I really like those for references. I talk about those a lot. Um, Pixabay and Pexels. Anyway, yeah, this is the, also the first time a hand has not given me so much difficulty in a while. So I guess practicing pays off. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this though. And I hope you feel inspired from this. If you have some Tantone sketchbook paper or gray sketchbook paper like this, hey, I hope maybe this reminds you that you have it if you've forgotten about it. And um, if you use it regularly too, that's really cool. Anyway, let me know what you've been drawing lately or painting or creating. I have some fun like craft projects I want to do for Christmas. Um, I've been really into making ornaments lately, so I might do that some more. We'll see. I actually did that in my last video, but it's like all I can think about right now, so I might I might do it again. <laughs> yeah. I, I made the background kind of pop with the colors in her sunglasses, and yeah, that was it. I think it's time to design some stickers. So I haven't drawn in Procreate in a video in a while, and a lot of you have been requesting this. So I think I'll show you my sticker making process today. I, um, I guess I always feel like it's just not worth sharing, but um, yeah, let's have some fun. When I made this sticker, I really wanted to embrace nature and traveling and seeing the world. And I know we can't exactly travel much this year, but I still have wanderlust in my heart. And I think it's really fun just to travel through my art. I've been doing that quite a bit this year and talking about how we can pretty much go anywhere if we create the place. So that kind of inspired this sticker too. And I thought it would be fun to, to put the word explore in the middle just because that makes me feel a sense of adventure to see that in the middle of the sticker. And the, the scenery in the background you're seeing is sort of inspired by what I saw last time I went to Colorado and just the mountains were so pretty and I've just been really obsessed with that lately and I mean I'm not sure if all these bushes and stuff would exist out there but I made them exist in my sticker and I'm happy with that. I really enjoyed making this really colorful and cheerful looking so yeah I definitely think I will turn this into a sticker though. So I hope you like it. I hope it makes you want to see the world, explore. Hmm. Hello, welcome to the studio. I, I think we're gonna package some orders tonight just because, well, first of all, <laughs> let me show you this. We're gonna be sending out some new Stay Cozy stickers, ooh. And I'm like super excited because I had like a Christmas ornament sale and all of them sold out within like, I think three hours. So yeah, we're gonna package all of these today. I'm oh, so excited, so excited. These mugs sold out again, <laughs> but I actually should have a shipment of them coming tonight. So another restock will be happening probably like next week. Um, my friend actually makes these for me, so it's not like a huge company that makes them. And that's why they stock in very small quantities. I might move on to like ceramic mugs after this cause it's been hard for us to do the enamel mugs. Okay, so we have 19 orders to pack today and I probably won't film all of it, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys the process. Mm. 
right as I was packaging orders, where's my scissors? So right as I was packing orders, I heard a noise and the mailman was outside. So my stuff arrived today. So a lot of the things in this box are actually restocks and I will probably launch them on Black Friday. So let's see. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Jacob sent me free cotton candy. So if you want really cool cotton candy, you can go to Flying Fluff Candy on Etsy. This one is coconut flavored. And this one is pumpkin spice flavored. Oh, I'm so excited to try these. This is like one of my best friends and we always send each other like gifts when we support each other too. Oh my goodness. I got, what is this a sweater? Oh my goodness, I love this. I'm gonna wear this. Ah! Okay, here are the coasters. Okay, so here's some mugs for the next restock. So excited. And since I'm a small business and my friend is a small business, yeah, that's why I don't do like tons and tons of mugs per restock. Um, that's why they sell out so fast. So yeah, there's gonna be like five of each mug for the next restock on Black Friday. <laughs> um, if you want them, you probably wanna snipe them. I'll just say that because they've been selling out within minutes. Okay, oh my goodness, these look amazing. Look at these Stay Cozy mouse pads. I'm so excited. They match this sticker and there's actually a coaster that goes with it. So I'll show you that in a second. Oh, I'm so excited. And we have more Autumn Forest mouse pads because these sold out like within a day or something. <laughs> Finally have more of these. Oh, I just love this Stay Cozy mouse bed. There's even snow in the background. Oh my goodness. The Delightful Earth mouse pads are so stinking cute, guys. I'm, I'm in love with these. This is awesome. I'm so impressed with the quality of these ones. Okay, so we have Delightful Earth coasters to go with your mouse pad and then the Stay Cozy coasters to go with the mouse pads. Super happy with that too. Autumn Forest coasters and some more succulent coasters. And I have to sit all of these aside so I can do inventory later and product photos. Back to shipping. day. I hope you enjoyed all the randomness that happened in this video. Like we did so much together and I hope you feel like we got to hang out. This was kind of a merger between a regular art video mixed with a little bit of a studio vlog, mixed with the studio tour aspect that a lot of people request like all the time. So Hopefully that three in one sort of thing uh, was enjoyable. I'm really excited for all the adventures that will happen in this new setup. I have some big plans in here. So once this giant rug comes, I do plan to get like a giant wooden easel because the whole point of doing this was so I could be standing and moving more freely and uh, just facilitate making bigger art projects. You guys have seen throughout the last couple months, I've really gotten back into like oil and acrylic painting. So I wanna get a giant easel so I can do giant paintings, you know? And I'll probably put that, you see where that like tripod and stuff is? Yeah, it'll probably go around there. So we'll see. Um, also, sorry the sound was a little weird in this video. 
we are still moving stuff and all these acoustic panels have to go places again. I have work to do. Well, this was fun. I can't wait to show you the things that will be happening in here. I feel like it's so much easier to record videos now too because I'm not like tripping over all this equipment. So that's nice. I will see you in a couple days in another video. This one I'm so excited for. And I think you will be too, because it's part of a series on my channel and I'll let you guess what it is. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye.